I am part of a really impressive group of researchers at the ICIQ. And although this is an institute of chemistry, uh, I'm happy to tell you that our group is really multidisciplinary. In our group we have physicists, we have chemical engineers, sorry, chemical engineers, we also have uh, organic chemists, inorganic chemists, and material scientists. Our idea is to use chemistry as a tool to solve problems or create new concepts that are uh, useful for multiple applications. We are uh, trying to work in fields as different as uh, energy, uh, hydrogen production, uh, green chemistry, but also in fields like uh, nanomagnetism, uh, smart materials or multifunctional conductors. Now what we are working especially is in the development of uh, hydrogen production through solar energy. So we are obtaining some low cost, inexpensive catalysts that will allow to make the whole process cost effective. In our group we work amongst other things on efficient catalyst for the water splitting reaction. Water splitting, that means taking energy which can come from the sun, solar energy produced by a solar cell. Here we have developed a catalyst, a polyoxymethylate, which is a molecular catalyst based on cobalt tungsten oxide. Here you can see a modified electrode, which is modified with our catalyst and which is used for the oxidation of water. Here we have water, which is split by the catalyst and you see evolution of oxygen while bubbles are coming out. This is normal water under pH 7. In a completely different approach, we are also developing smart materials. And by smart materials, I mean materials where we can change the physical properties acting on them upon an external stimuli. In particular, we are embedding uh, conducting materials with molecular probes that are molecular switches. We can act upon this probe and change the electronic state with light, thermal energy or pressure. And then this probe uh, communicates to the conducting network, obtaining for the first time, uh, for example, organic conductors that are able to switch conductivity uh, using thermal energy or light irradiation. This is a very simple, simple uh, prepared sample. So it has the, the changing of uh, physical properties in different temperatures. So I, I just want to show uh, simply with the liquid nitrogen. So it's, uh, the color is very white, but if the sample is cooled down, the physical property becomes changing and then the different colors is showing. So through, through this transition, the physical properties are changing. So for example, conductivity or optical properties is also. Our main project is to develop a complete new hydrolyzer technology, a new device able to split water into hydrogen and oxygen using uh, solar energy with the aim to do it in a cost-efficient manner, being able to compete with reforming fuel, but also being able to use even seawater and natural waters without any additive, which would be uh, quite important for environmental issues. 